Hi, this is JP LaForest from Studio JPEG. In this video, I'll be doing a review of this teleconverter from Canon, which is the Canon Extender EF2X version 3. And I rented this along with a Canon 400mm f5.6 lens, which I have over here, and also with the Canon 1.4X teleconverters. So I have a bird feeder behind me and I wanted to do some photography and videography with it. So I wanted to try out different options so I rented those uh, three equipments for 10 days. So it allowed me to test out the lens by itself but also to see how it works with the uh, teleconverters. Uh, this teleconverter I'm extremely disappointed in. It's something that I find is extremely niche. I think that it would be very rare the cases where this would actually be an improvement to anybody's photography. And it's something that I read a, quite a lot of negative reviews about, but I feel from my own experience that the reviews were not negative enough. So a big thing about this is you lose two stops of aperture which by itself is pretty bad. But on top of that, it means that you lose autofocus with many lenses and camera combinations. So that makes it even harder to achieve a good focus. And on top of that, since you're zoomed in two times more, then you have to use an even faster shutter speed to capture images. So you end up losing really about three to four stops of light if you want to have sharp pictures with this teleconverter. And on top of that, I find that the image quality uh, does drop quite a lot. It makes the images much blurrier. Again, with the uh, shutter speed, it doesn't help. Like you have to use a much faster shutter speed to keep everything stable. But on top of that, uh, the lens just loses its really amazing sharpness and becomes some uh, sort of a dull uh, maybe like a $300 lens or something like that. In terms of actually using it, it's very easy. You have the red dot on the lens and you have a red dot on the teleconverter. You just align them, twist the lens in and you're good. And you have another red dot here to where you connect to the camera. And then you have a little f switch here. You just pull it, twist the lens off. And that's all there is to it. One thing I did like though is turning the 400mm into an 800mm gave a really amazing compression to the images. So that was really pleasing. But unfortunately the images became really dull and you can't crop into them at all. Uh, so I'm kind of disappointed with that. Uh, I find that using just the 400 mil either by itself or even with the 1.4 X teleconverter and then cropping into the image would probably give about the same image quality as using the 2X teleconverter. So that's why with all that being said, I find that it's a really expensive piece of equipment for what it does which is not really much at all. Uh, it does double your lens, but at the same time, it reduces the image quality by way too much, I find, uh, to be worth it in most situations. Uh, that being said, I did use it for video, and I find that for video, it's not as bad. For some reason, with images, it really loses a lot of sharpness, but with 180p video, which is not as hard on the lenses and you know you don't need as sharp of a lens to really pull 180p off which is just like a 2 megapixel equivalent image so I find that for 180p video it's not so bad but since you're zooming in the image two times then I find you need a very solid and stable tripod to pull that off. So another part which I was a little bit disappointed is that I have this Tamron 70 to 300 millimeter lens and that's one lens that I was considering to buy a teleconverter for. So I was debating oh, should I buy a teleconverter, should I buy a lens that zooms in more and 
Uh, that's why I rented both teleconverters and a 400 mil lens. Uh, but one thing I was disappointed is it looks like it's going to fit, but it's just a little bit too tight and it just doesn't fit in. So you can't use the Canon teleconverters with the Tamron 70 to 300 millimeter lens, unfortunately. So the conclusion of this basically is I rented this for 10 days and once I return it, that's probably going to be one of the last times I use one of these. Um, I tried the 1.4x teleconverter. I did another review uh, separate of that. It's not as bad, I find, as this 2x teleconverter, but I find the 2x is just not really usable. Uh, it zooms in by two times but the image quality is just not there so uh, overall I was disappointed by this. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions please leave them in the box below. If you liked the video please click like, subscribe and share with a friend. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.